Since we arrived on Earth in the modern era, we have been taught that dating is normal and the main way people find long-term partners. We never had even considered it. Dating is the worst way. Most people, men and women, fail. We joined the line to find a long-term partner. Dating is the worst approach. Since men don't choose their relationships, women have more options in today's dating culture. Men settle for their partner's finances and emotions. Men, on the other hand, can force women into relationships because they choose which men they will romance. Men have always broken rules and risked their lives for their families. Men have always ruled relationships. Giving women the option to initiate in the dating market has led to the current situation in which any woman can choose whether a guy will be a romance door by either giving him consent or, more recently, revoking consent. This has led to the illegal situation where any woman can choose a romance doer. I digress. Because dates didn't exist before. Instead, people courted. Simplest explanation. Dating is newer than courtship. Authorities, parliamentarians and civic leaders were alarmed when women were no longer at risk of assault and began to be courted in public. The New York Post published this fascinating history of courting becoming dating. Weigel calls it cheating when women let men pay for dinner or drinks. Please read the essay. Dating had more negative effects than positive ones for society, and our ancestors were right to worry about our species' fate. Understanding the differences between courtship and dating can help us understand why dating was doomed from the start. This post compares courting and dating. Courtship deepens emotional bonds between potential spouses to help them plan their future. Responsibility and commitment matter. You're committing to God's will as you find a lifelong partner. However, dating rarely leads to long-term commitments. Recording helps couples bond before marriage. Dating is not for serious long-term partners. It's a numbers game to see if one of the dates can work. Very obvious. It's obvious that serious people don't date. Thus, dating is a strategy for future happiness. Hope is not a dating strategy. Besides the chance to romance, the connection is temporary and unplanned. This accurately describes dating. Today's daters mostly want free food, cash, entertainment, and a break from their partners. Dates are not the best way to get to know someone with the goal of starting a long-term relationship, getting married, and having children. Dating is all about the present for both parties. Let's examine dating's biggest problems and why it will die out. I've explained why dating was doomed from the start. The dating market is imbalanced, which contributes to the industry's poor performance. Most YouTube viewers have seen the 80-20 and 90-10 rules. The 80-20 and 90-10 rules say women want the top 20% and 10% of men, respectively. YouTube has both rules. I'll explain everything so you can see the big picture and why it matters. Customers shop at marketplaces. Supply and demand dominate there. Customers shop there. In romantic relationships, there are only so many singles actively seeking a partner. In a perfect society with half men and half women, monogamy makes sense. Monogamy illustrates that everyone should have equal access to a mate. It's an example. Humans don't monogamy. Polyamorous means we have multiple relationships at once. This information alone would eliminate some people from dating. In reality, it's not. Inaccurate information is a secondary cause of dating failure. No sane person would do that. If you ever consider believing all women, I will never feel sorry for you, no matter what happens. Women often mislead men when dating. They discuss personal matters that, if the male had known, would have ended the relationship. Accountability is women's kryptonite, so my history shouldn't matter. Women want to act freely without judgment or exclusion. Women want this freedom. For a man who wants a long-term relationship with a woman without surprises. This information may determine whether they stay together. After receiving incorrect vehicle information, a seller is guilty of fraud if a buyer decides not to buy a car from them. When the car breaks down, the customer should be furious with the seller if he knows the whole story. He was surprised when the repair cost was much higher than he expected. In romantic relationships, women would go to great lengths to deceive their partners, selling them on an idealized image of themselves when he would have left them for good 
if he knew the truth. Imagine that this woman was one of the best competitive cyclists despite having terminated four pregnancies, abused drugs and alcohol, cheated in every relationship, and had an incurable case of itchy scratchy. If she doesn't tell her new boyfriend this, he won't know whether to commit to her long term. How bad could this get? Men may think they are dating a sweet and innocent girl, but the truth may come out months or years later when he has made a commitment he cannot break. That man would bear the consequences of being missled. Unfortunately, paternity fraud cases frequently involve this. These examples explain why so many relationships end tragically. Marketing yourself is different from lying to get ahead. Promoting yourself does not lie. To help us, please watch this video. Please subscribe and send this video to anybody you think will benefit from it the most.